everyone, happy new year, welcome back to my channel, I hope you guys had a fantastic new year and I hope 2020 brings you a lot of success, luck and happiness, I hope you all have an amazing 2020. In today's video I will be sharing my entire Chanel collection, I wanted to start the new decade with a bang and I thought what a better bang than Chanel, so I will be showing you my entire Chanel collection, so if you're interested keep watching. Alright, so if you want to see all these items and how I style them, you can always come follow me on my Instagram, which is this one here on the screen. I show you my daily outfits, I show you my new purchases, so if you're interested, you can come say hello on my Instagram. And also, everything that I am mentioning in this video and showing, I'll try to find links and link in the description box down below. If I can find links... I'll make sure it's down below, so do check out the description box. Okay, so I think I'll start with categories, and the first category is ready-to-wear. I only have one ready-to-wear piece that I am wearing, and it is this gorgeous red jumper from the 19K collection, the fall winter collection. This was such a dream. I wanted this jumper so badly, and it was so difficult to get hold of, but I have an amazing essay on Sloan Street in London, and she hooked me up. <laughs> and I have my dream sweater. So this sweater came in three different colors. I definitely wanted to get the red one. This was the runway piece. They showed it on the runway and I fell in love with this jumper. They styled it with a skirt and I haven't worn it with a skirt. I definitely want to wear it with one of these like dreamy tulle skirts. I think it will look fabulous. It's quite chunky knit so it does make me look a bit bigger but I love it. It is so beautiful and so cute. I feel like a red teddy bear every time I wear it. <laughs> Alright, next category is handbags and I think many of you will be interested to see my collection of Chanel handbags which is not that big. Alright, so let's get started with my first ever baby that I bought. This is my Chanel Jumbo. This bag is such a classic piece. I think everyone needs one in their collection. I still think it's a beautiful bag. It will never go out of style and it is a must have if you are a fashion lover, if you love Chanel, I think this is a must. I would never ever get rid of this bag. I don't really wear it as much as I used to before because now I have more bags <laughs> but um, it is quite heavy that's the only problem with this bag I find it quite heavy um, however I would never get rid of it because it's such a classic it holds its value and they keep going up in price I bought this bag about I would say four four and a half years maybe five years ago now I bought it for three and a half thousand so now it has almost doubled in price um, I'm sure it will double by the end of the year. <laughs> so if you are thinking about buying this bag, get it now before it goes up again because <laughs> it will keep going up. I'm showing you the bags in the order that I purchased them. So the second big purchase was this baby. This is my boy bag, the iridescent boy bag. This bag was so popular again and it was really difficult to get hold of. I initially wanted the medium one and when I got to Harrods early in the morning when they opened the store, it was already gone. I don't know how, maybe they reserved it for some clients. I couldn't get the medium one. However, I don't regret it now. I do really like the small size and I think the other one is a bit too bulky because to me this is a crossbody bag and when you crossbody it the medium one could look quite bulky because it's like a squarish um, bag and it's quite structured so I don't regret picking up the small one plus I really love tiny cute bags they look so adorable so this is the purple iridescent it also came in the green iridescent and I think they released it again um, I think two years ago or maybe a year and a half ago they uh, released this bag again in this mermaid color but it wasn't the same it was a lighter purple again iridescent with the iridescent um, chain the rainbow chain but um, I don't think that one was that pretty <laughs> I didn't like the lighter color as much as this one this is very unique I have been thinking about letting this go but the only reason I keep it is because I love the color Unfortunately, I don't wear it as much as I used to now. The only thing that I find really annoying with boy bags is the uh, strap. This bit here gets tangled in my hair 
so much. Every time I crossbody it, it gets tangled and even if I wear my hair up on a ponytail, my ponytail still somehow gets tangled up in the strap, which is really annoying. So yeah, maybe that's why I don't really wear it as much anymore, but I still love it, it's cute. <laughs> Since I mentioned I'll be showing them in order of purchase, the next bag that I purchased I won't be showing in this video because I'm actually thinking about selling. I'm talking about my Chanel Dolville bag. I did wear it a few times and every time I wore it I got so many compliments. People are always commenting on how beautiful the bag is. It isn't the most perfect shade. However, I find it way too big and bulky. I thought I would use it for traveling but because it's like, um, like fabric material I'm afraid that it will get dirty very quick if I start using it as a travel bag and I don't want to wear it as a gym bag <laughs> it crossed my mind but I don't want to wear it as a gym bag either so I think I'm gonna let that one go that's why I didn't want to include it in this video I think I might sell it very soon it has been staying boxed under my bed for months now and I think it's time to let it go. I really love it, hopefully I won't regret it. I don't like selling bags, especially Chanel bags because they're such a good investment. And the Deauville is classic, they still uh, keep doing that bag, they keep releasing it with um, every other collection. So I'll think about it a bit more but I'm pretty sure I'll let that one go. So that's why I didn't bring it but um, yeah, it's under my bed, boxed. <laughs> All right, the next cute little bag is this one. This is my Coco Handle bag. And this is one of my favorites. I love wearing this throughout the spring and summer. It is such a perfect color. It is an off-white. It is a very light gray. It almost looks white, but um, it is actually a very light gray color. It also has the champagne gold hardware. I think it comes in three sizes. So it comes in the small that I have, the medium and a large. I personally don't like the medium and the large because I don't like how big and wide the handle is. As much as I love my Coco handle, I'm not sure if I'll ever repurchase it again in another color. Initially I was thinking about buying it in another color because I love it so much, but once I start wearing it, I actually found something that's really bothering me, which I mentioned in my comparison video. There is a comparison video between this bag and my Chanel Train DCC. If you're interested, I'll link it up here and down below. But one thing that I mentioned is really annoying is the stitching hair. And when you wear it on the crook of your arm, it really digs in your arm and it's very uncomfortable to wear it. So the only way I can wear it is as a top handle bag and I can't even crossbody it because the strap is very, very short. So I have to wear it on one shoulder. My next Chanel bag is sleeping in its dust bag because it's a very delicate lambskin bag and it is my... Chanel Trendy. This bag I love so much. It is the perfect everyday bag and I actually love it so much that I'm considering getting this bag in another color. I think it's so modern. It's so much cooler than the, let's say, the classic jumbo. It fits so much. It is heavy because it's a full leather bag. It is leather on the inside. That's why it is so expensive. But to be honest, I don't think it's heavier than the jumbo. Um, so they're pretty much the same, but this one fits more. It also has a long strap, which is much more comfortable than the jumbo. Uh, it is still a chain strap, but it has this leather bit here that sits on your shoulder really nicely and it doesn't dig in, which is great. I wish they did the same with the jumbo, although it wouldn't look as nice. <laughs> Moving on with small leather goods, I did sell quite a few Chanel pieces. So if you don't see something in this video, I have probably sold. I have sold my big flap wallet. I had a classic flap wallet which was really huge. This was my first ever Chanel SLG and I didn't use it. It was like a little clutch bag and I ended up selling that one. And after that I bought this little cutie which is the Chanel coin purse. I don't really wear it as much anymore because I switched to card holders. <laughs> Something even slimmer because of all my tiny bags. However, I still really love this SLG. It is currently full with like loyalty cards. It fits so many cards and I still love it. It's very durable. I got it in the black um, calfskin, not calfskin, uh, caviar, <laughs> which is very durable leather. And I've had it for so many years and I have used it a lot before. It looks brand new. So if you're considering getting an SOG, definitely get it in 
caviar because the lambskin wears out very quickly. The next SOG and my favorite is this Chanel Camellia card holder, which I love so much. I was very scared to start using it because it is a light color and it's lambskin. And I know I just said, do not buy lamp in SOGs, but I did it. <laughs> so yeah, I was very scared. I didn't want to use it for a while. It was staying in the box and I wasn't using it. But then I was like, come on Maria. Um, why did you buy it if you're not gonna use it? It's really cute and it fits so many cards. I desperately needed to change my old YSL card holder, which looked so sad and dirty. So I ended up buying this one and now this is my current card holder that I'm using. I love the little CC embossed uh, on the leather. So yeah, this is my Chanel card holder. All right, so next we have this beautiful Chanel twilly scarf that I bought to wear not on my bags, but in my hair. I wanted to tie this around my ponytail. This was so difficult to get. I actually had to buy it through a personal shopper and they shipped it all the way from Australia. I was so happy that I managed to get it and I was very excited. However, I still haven't worn this. I don't know why it's really weird because I always wear my hair on a ponytail. So it's very easy to just get it and tie it around my hair but I guess I just forget about this. This also goes really nicely with my coco handle so I can use it as a twilly scarf as well. I can use it as a small scarf around my neck. It'll look really nice with a white shirt but I still haven't worn it so yeah hopefully I'll get to wear it more in 2020. <laughs> Next category is costume jewellery. I have quite a few pieces, so I will show them one by one, not in order of purchase because I can't remember. So the first piece that I want to show is actually one of my favourites and it is this amazing Chanel brooch. I love it because it's black, it has white and black crystals, it is so easy to style. I love wearing this on black jumpers, black coats, on leather jackets. I also love it because it's different. Most people buy the gold or the silver, like classic Chanel brooches. I like this because it's different. And and I think it's so beautiful. I can't remember when I bought it. It was a long, long time ago. Next, I have another brooch. This one is very special. It is the uh, signature Chanel Lion brooch. This is a very special piece because it was gifted from Chanel and I'll keep this forever. It is very special and it is very big. It is a humongous brooch. Next, I have this Chanel Heart Pearl brooch, which I love so much. However, I just realized that I haven't worn it, not even once, which is really weird because I wanted this brooch so badly and I was waiting for them to receive it. They didn't receive it initially with the 19K collection, the fall winter collection. I was constantly messaging my essay asking if they received it and they did eventually receive it and I went and I picked it up. It is a very beautiful brooch, I'm not sure why I haven't worn it yet, so I will definitely change that and wear it ASAP. <laughs> Another brooch that I have is this Chanel one. This is such a popular piece again that I managed to get and uh, thanks to my wonderful essay. I actually think the hair clip was more popular but I definitely wanted to get the brooch version because I actually wear this as a brooch. I can wear it as a necklace and I can also wear it in my hair. If you want to see how I wear brooches as hair clips and how I secure them, because it could be quite tricky, I have a video where I show you, so I'll link it down below and up here again if you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm very happy that I managed to get this piece. It is very beautiful and I have worn it a lot as a hair clip. This was my first ever Chanel brooch that I bought. Um, I did sell quite a few brooches as I mentioned, but I'm pretty sure this was my first ever brooch that I bought from Chanel. It has crystals and they are in two different colors. So it has the white crystals and the dark gray crystals and it is champagne gold. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the size because it's not too small and it's not too big. It's the perfect size. So I love this one. It is such a beautiful classic Chanel brooch. All right, next is this beautiful necklace from Chanel, the one and only necklace that I have. I used to have another one with a pearl, but I ended up selling that one. Or did I sell it? No, I actually returned it. I returned that one because it was faulty. And I had a problem with this one as well. Uh, it tarnished very quickly, but because I loved it so much, I love the 
Chanel charm. Uh, I think it's so beautiful. I didn't want to return it so I asked them to fix it and they had to replace the chain because it tarnished very quickly again. So yeah this is my one and only Chanel necklace. I love it so much. I try not to wear it on bare skin. I try to wear it on top of like jumpers or high necks because I think that when it's rubbing on my skin the chain bit tarnishes very quickly. It also could be my fake tan actually. <laughs> the fake tan could be colouring the chain uh, but I try to wear it on top of like clothes. <laughs> right next we have earrings. So I have these amazing Chanel hoop earrings. These are a gift from my mum and I love them so much. These are my favourite pair of hoop earrings. I also have these Chanel hoop earrings that are from the Fall Winter Collection. I love these as well but I actually think I prefer the ones with the leather. So I might actually consider selling these ones. I do really like these a lot and I wear them more. Next we have these huge Chanel Statement earrings. These are probably the most expensive earrings that I have bought from Chanel. They are so expensive <laughs> but I just fell in love with them and I had to get them. I think they are fabulous. They can elevate a simple outfit. You can be wearing a plain t-shirt and jeans and when you put these on they will instantly change your entire look. They are not everyone's cup of tea I know um, but I personally love them. I love the classic um, chain uh, detail with the leather and the pearl so yeah these are one of my favorite pair of Chanel statement earrings and I definitely want to add more big Chanel statement earrings in my collection maybe now in 2020 I will be buying more humongous Chanel earrings <laughs> Another similar pair that I have are these ones. These have the same leather detail. These are probably one of my most favorite Chanel earrings. I love these because they're perfect for every day and I love that they're gold with black so they go with everything. They're the perfect size. They're not too small, not too big. They're very light. Next I have everyone's favorite pair of earrings. These are such a popular style. They're very cheap but people sell these online for insane prices. These are classic pair of earrings but they're extremely difficult to get hold of. They release them once in a while, they come back but they get sold out immediately and people buy them and resell them for a lot more. I think I bought them for around 150, 170 pounds probably five, six years ago and I still have them in my collection. I would never sell my ones so don't even ask me guys. So many people actually messaged me asking uh, if I'll sell them. I got offered like seven, eight hundred pounds for these but I would never sell them so don't even ask. These are staying. <laughs> Last I have two classic pairs of Chanel studs, one of them are these uh, gold uh, stud earrings, Chanel classic CCs. These match the classic Chanel brooch perfectly, they are the exact same style and have the exact same crystals, the white crystals with the dark grey and I love them. These are also perfect for every day or for events because they are such a classic style, they go with everything and they are the perfect size again, I really love the size. And I also have these are probably my own, yeah, these are the oldest earrings that I own and they look so bad. Oh my god, they look really bad. Actually, I need to get rid of these. They look so sad and dark. They used to be very sparkly and silver. However, these are now very black and tarnished. They don't look silver at all. So yeah, these are the last pair of costume jewelry that I have. <laughs> I did miss one costume jewelry piece from my collection and it is this Chanel ring. I've missed it because I don't actually wear it. It is quite small. Chanel rings go up to size 56 which is a bit small for me but I do wear it as a necklace sometimes. I tried to resize it but because it's costume jewelry they've told me it's impossible. <laughs> this ring is from the Fall Winter 2019 collection, my favorite collection, and I bought it to match with these hoop earrings that I have. So now I can only wear it as a, a necklace charm. Next category is sunglasses and I actually own only one pair of sunglasses currently. I used to have another classic big black oversized pair of Chanel sunglasses that were very beautiful but I gifted them to my mum. So now my mum enjoys wearing them, she loves those so I gifted them to her and I bought myself these ones uh, last year I think in the summer. 
and I love them so much. I think they're really cool. I love the grey lens. I love that they're a bit more modern and I love the pearls. I think they look so nice. These are quite expensive but I really wanted them so I got them from Heathrow I think. Also in this category I will include my reading glasses. These are my Chanel reading glasses that are quite heavy so I don't really wear them that much plus I need to change the lens because I can't see with these anymore. I need a different prescription but these are my reading glasses so these are very classic pair of Chanel glasses they have the thick black frame with the classic Chanel chain detail with the leather on the side if I can't find these and link them I will leave the style number down below in the description box because I get asked about these a lot every time I wear them on my Instagram stories or I have worn them here on YouTube you always ask me about the style so I'll make sure I leave the exact style number down below last two categories i have shoes left and homeware <laughs> all right let me start with the shoes there is one pair that i currently don't have at home because it is with my cobbler changing the sole i'm talking about these beautiful chanel muse i'll insert a little clip i bought these to match my coco handle i really love them i did wear them a few times in the summer and now it's winter raining i can't really wear them so i decided to re-sew them so they are ready for next season when it gets warmer i always bring my more delicate designer shoes to the cobbler to put additional rubber sole underneath so they don't wear out quickly so the next pair i have to show you i don't have to worry about the sole wearing out are these uh, Chanel chunky sneakers. So these are actually the only chunky sneaker that I would wear. I hate the chunky sneaker trend. I hope this trend will die in 2020. But these are the only chunky sneakers that I would wear. And I love these. I love the color. These are from the 19k collection again. Yes, I did buy quite a few pieces from the 19k collection. So these are quite a recent pair. I've always wanted a pair of Chanel sneakers, but I was waiting for the perfect color. I love the nude color. It goes with everything it's very easy to style I also love that these have the classic Chanel tweet detail on them so they are very comfy I also love the sole how cool they have the CC on the sole <laughs> next pair of Chanel sneakers are these blue ones I wear these mainly in spring and summer these have to be my most comfortable shoes ever these are so comfy the soles are very soft it feels like you're stepping on clouds and I love the style I think these are very beautiful they're quite understated but they still have the beautiful Chanel details big laces with black and white Chanel they also have this Chanel rubber detail here and on the back can you guys see the back of the sole it says Chanel so yeah these are very beautiful I love the color but definitely more of a um, spring summery color they also have this Chanel tag on the back my favorite style of Chanel shoes definitely have to be espadrilles so these are my favorite pair of espadrilles. I do have another pair that I don't wear anymore. I mean, I wear them, but um, as you can see, I wear them as a loafers because they are quite small and they don't fit. Unfortunately, Chanel espadrilles do not come in half sizes. So if you're between sizes like me, uh, it might be a bit difficult to find the perfect fit. So I have 37 in these ones and 38 in those. I find the 38 much more comfortable. They could be quite big, but to be honest, in the summer when my feet swell up <laughs> from the heat they are fine when it's a bit chilly outside I normally put an inside sole and the fit is perfect so these are my most loved pair of Chanel shoes I have worn them so much and I definitely need to pick up some more espadrilles in 2020 Next I have my classic Chanel ballerina flats. I love these. They're very comfy and I got mine in size 38. I find that 38 in these fits perfectly and they're extremely comfortable. I have two pairs of these so I have these to match my copper handle. These are my newer pair and I also have these ones that are in silver. To be honest the silver ones I find a bit difficult to style but I do love the look of them. I love the tweeds. I think they're one of the most beautiful pair of flats that I own. I think they're very very pretty but I don't wear them as much. These grey ones on the other hand I have worn a lot uh, in the summer. I re them as you can see and they match perfectly my cover handle. So these are my classic flat shoes.
Also another style that I love for summer are these Chanel shoes. These are the chunky flat espadrille sandal. <laughs> so these look like the espadrilles but they're open and I love these guys. These are a bit heavy. They were a bit uncomfortable at first when I first bought them but once you start wearing them after the second or third time the lambskin leather molds to your foot and they're extremely comfortable. These were my best summer shoe in 2019 and I can't wait to wear them again in 2020. Okay, so this is the last pair of shoes that I have from Chanel, I think. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. If I have if I have missed anything, I'll have to insert a separate clip, but hopefully I didn't miss any shoes. So my next pair is actually inside the Chanel box. I keep them inside the box because they're quite delicate. I love these. These are my favorite pair of Chanel boots. These are the Coco boots. So on one side you can see the Gabrielle Chanel Coco writing and the other boot has a little CC. I love these. These are so comfortable. They're the perfect high heel. I love the satin finish on the heel and on the toe cap. I love that they're two tones. My favorite style of shoes, as you may know, is pointy shoes. I love pointy boots. I love pointy heels. I think they're so flattering and so beautiful and I definitely want to get these in another color. I think these come in all leather and in beige. I definitely want to pick up the beige ones. If I ever find these ones in beige, I'm gonna buy them. They are so beautiful and I definitely have to start wearing them more now. It's been raining quite a lot so I was avoiding wearing these but now I think it's perfect. Actually the weather today is perfect for these. <laughs> Alright guys, last category is homeware. Yes, you heard me correct, homeware. This is probably one of my most favorite items from Chanel that I own and it is this beautiful Chanel pillow. <laughs> so this I bought from Chanel in Paris, the Rue Cambon store in Paris. And I have been wanting this for so long and I finally found the color that I wanted. These cushions come out pretty much with every collection but I always do them in different colors. And I definitely wanted the black with gray because you know gray is my favorite color, right? And I found this in Paris. This is a classic color so I'm sure it will come back with with uh, the new collections but I'm so glad that I have it and I definitely want to buy another one. I know it's a bit excessive, it's a bit too much because these are not cheap but I definitely want to pick up another one. Also guys there is a blanket. Yep, now I want the blanket as well. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all. This is my entire Chanel collection. I hope I didn't miss anything. If you didn't see some of the pieces, I have probably given it to my mom or my other family members or I have sold it. <laughs> I used to have a lot more costume jewelry but I ended up selling quite a few pieces. So yeah, this is my entire Chanel collection for now. Hopefully I'll get to add some more pieces in 2020 and maybe I'll start filming this video every January and update you on my current Chanel collection. Let me know what you guys think, which was your favorite Chanel item that I showed you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I think I'm gonna do the same with my LV. Do you guys wanna see an entire Louis Vuitton collection? I'll definitely film an entire designer shoe collection. I want to film an entire Louis Vuitton collection, an entire ready to wear collection. So there'll be quite a few collection videos coming up soon. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more of these collection videos. Thank you so, so much for taking time to watch. And hopefully I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.